Welcome back to the channel. If you follow anything really around Coral Island news or updates, you'll probably know that Coral Island surprisingly is very polarizing in kind of the farming life sim community because of its similarities to games such as Stardew Valley, which to me, I don't really understand that argument because of the fact that if you were to compare Stardew Valley to Harvest Moon, for example, you could make a lot of those same arguments, but that's neither here nor there. So we're gonna get into some of these wacky reviews. I tried to keep it as variety as possible so we're not ideally seeing the same kind of complaints, but there will be a lot of similarities and anything regarding bugs, because while Coral Island is in full release, there are still some bugs, actually a decent amount of bugs in the game itself and, you know, dialogue errors, etc. Um, that I do, you know, recognize. So anything really talking about the bugginess of the game, I tried to sort of leave out. But yeah, let's get things kicked off with this one. This is just a Stardew Valley ripoff. There's hardly anything original to it. It takes a lot of things from Stardew, being only able to gift items to a character twice a week, starting off with turnips, etc. The character is alright, but this game is still a ripoff. If you want to play a farming sim, just play Stardew Valley. It's cheaper anyways. Oh, okay. So like I said, you're going to see a lot of that, but I, I just, I disagree. And the, the, the first example they use is being only to gift items to a character twice a week. That is very universally used. And it honestly makes sense because you don't want to be able to speed run having characters like you. That's a very standardized across a lot of games. And I still don't really understand this whole Stardew Valley ripoff. If you like Stardew Valley, play Stardew Valley. If you have played Stardew Valley like, like I have for hundreds of hours, I think I have between my Steam and um, Nintendo Switch, I probably have close to 300 to 400 hours of Stardew Valley. And I probably have, I don't know, 150, 200 hours on Coral Island. I love both games. Why not just do both? And the irony too is that came from somebody who had point, not even a full hour of playtime, which to me, I'm like, if you only play not even for a full hour, you can't really judge a game on less than an hour of playtime. I mean, maybe maybe there's an argument to be made that you can. I think in some in some you know some ways you could, but I think that that's that's not really fair. The next comment is kind of ridiculous, and I'll explain a little bit why. But this one is: Beware, you get banned if you don't agree with their politics. Gone are the days where you can just chill and play a game. Pass. Now I'm not exactly sure what this comment is referring to, but I do know that Coral Island itself is very. LGBTQ friendly and that may be what they're referring to and they made a comment about something on Twitter and then they got banned I, I'm not exactly sure what that refers to But what I think is odd about this comment is not only did they have 214 hours Which is you know honestly close you know close to me is that they obviously enjoy the game I don't understand why there has to be there's really no politics in the game whatsoever I, I, I don't you don't have to train it's, it's a farming sim. It's a farming life sim You're supposed to just have a farm romance the townies have fun, restore, you know, restore the coral reefs. You don't have to bring the politics into the game. I, I don't know why. This next comment is probably my favorite comment because of its sort of outlandish. And this is somebody, this is from somebody who has a hundred play hours in it. I honestly find Bobby to be so offensive and rude that his presence alone is extremely demotivational. I'm not exactly competitive. So getting berated at my front door in my first year is already stressful, but it is even worse if you try to compete. I'll probably be removing this game from my Steam library, even if I can't get a refund. I don't, I don't even know how, how to respond to this. I, I, I mean, I understand where they're coming from, but I, I don't know if this is like a child or something, but Bobby is really, Bobby is supposed to be an asshole character and he's supposed to be somebody who is like a mama's boy who grew up and is spoiled and it's kind of a dickhead. And that is like, he's really not, the, the, a lot of the game is not focused. Actually, 99.9% .9 of the game is not focused around Bobby at all. I think you have maybe one or two rude, quote unquote, rude interactions. If that is a rude enough interaction for you that you're gonna actually um, remove the game from your Steam library, then I don't know what else to tell you. Get Thicken your skin up because there are so many games out there that this is probably on the lesser end. The next comment is Stardew Valley from Ally Express. Enough said. I mean, I disagree, but you know, they got half an hour, not even a full hour. The most difficult part of the game is trying to make a heterosexual looking male playable character. I, I, I also disagree. I mean, my character, boom, you know, he looks like a, a normal, cool dude. And there's a lot of the, a lot of the NPCs in the game are also normal looking dudes. I think you can easily make a male playable character. I'm not really understand why they're fixated on that. 
I do believe that Stairway Games could make a bit more better clothing options, but in terms of making your character look like a male character, I don't really see how that's relevant. The next comment is the political and eco activist BS got on my nerves. If you're like me and don't want politics in your gaming experience, just ignore this game. I don't understand how it is political to want to better the environment. I, I, I just don't, I cannot wrap my head around it. The fact that there's oil that you're cleaning up from the actual ocean. I mean, it is an absolute fact there and you cannot refute it. That is an actual fact that coral reefs are dying, that the Great Barrier Reef is dying, that there are oil, there's oil in the water that is killing animals. I, I don't understand how you can say that that is political to want to clean that up. If you think that that is political, then you probably need to look in the mirror and be like, you know what, maybe I'm an asshole. And if that's, if that's a little bit harsh, then whatever. This comment had me a little bit scratching my head. After 10 hours, this person responded, there is something extremely disturbing about this game. You will see it too. I have yet to see it. I don't know what you're talking about. If maybe some of the viewers here know what they're talking about, please leave it in the comments because I, I I don't I don't know what that even means. Disturbing in what regard? I, I, I have no idea. Now this next comment too was a bit more transparent, but also sort of had me scratching my head. OMG, is this a disappointment? I have waited for this game for a year to come out. It plays like a effing mobile game. It looks, feels, and smells like a mobile game. What does a mobile game smell like? I don't know. And I got tired of it after the first 30 minutes. Also, no controller, just another lazy money grab at the loving farming community. Okay, so my, my first thing, I actually play a decent amount of mobile games because I'm one of those people I, I you know who's kind of honestly constantly on their phone and I play a lot of like mobile games itself and I could not disagree more. I don't know what, please send me what mobile games you're playing because I would love to be playing the mobile games that look like this. And let alone smell like that. What still? What I have no idea what that means. Now, when this comment was posted, though, back in October of 2022, I will admit that they are right about the no controller support. I do understand. Can you know, understand that complaints? It's been fixed kind of since that point. Um, but still, com comparing this to a mobile game to me is a bit asinine. This comment also kind of had me chuckle as well. Players, we want a completed game and maybe a functional taco truck. Devs, you want a gotcha and dino skins for your animals? You know, honestly, when this one, I actually did a video kind of shitting on the devs for this whole gotcha and dino skin. So honestly, with this comment, I, I, I do sort of feel what they're saying. That said, the gotcha and dino skins are so, so late, late game that the fact that they posted this after only playing for three hours is a bit, it's kind of annoying actually, because there is so much more game that, that, that is not even, that is the tiniest, tiniest, like 1%, not even 1%, half a percent, 0.2% of, of the actual game. So while I sort of fixated on that and kind of, you know, mentioned that a lot in my video, that is absolutely, absolutely not a function of the game and probably honestly a different team working on the game itself. The models are ugly. If they're talking about the player character models, that's one thing I disagree. If they're talking about the NPC models, I will fight you. Because I have never played, I've never played a game in my entire life that has so many attractive NPCs. It is actually obscene to me how attractive all of the NPCs are. This next comment is one of those comments that is just absolutely a useless comment because it's they're they're factually wrong the only thing i hated about this game is the map was way too big finding anything was a chore in town trying to find an npc you hadn't met in a place that's huge was horrible way too much empty unnecessary space confusing layouts no directions it's like if stardew's map was the map of skyrim with no fast travel okay let's break this comment down there is fast travel in the game you have to progress and play through the game which just makes sense and you pretty you unlock fast travel fairly honestly quickly it's fundamentally wrong to say it's the map of Skyrim because Skyrim's map is, I've played, I've played, I have a, hundreds of hours in Skyrim as well. It's factually incorrect to say that. It's really not that hard to find NPCs. The, the homes, the houses are really not that elaborate to where you're, you know, getting lost and you can't find them. So, and you only have half an hour in the game itself. You gotta, I, this, it, it just goes down to what I originally said. You gotta play the game for a little bit longer before, because that, that would have answered all your questions and you would not have had to leave a negative review. People sometimes, I, I think they just like to hate to hate. 
Now with the final comment, this one kind of had me cracking up too. Agung is not available for dating. I have no reason to continue this game. Bye. After 123 hours, bye. Agung's not available. I'm out. Bye. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Do you actually agree with any of these comments? Or if you have a little bit more of an opinion um, on top of mine, or you disagree with what I said, um, please let me know in the comment section below, and I will see you next time. Peace out, YouTube.